Hello everyone, welcome to another video brought to you by webvidtouch.com. This is video 8 of the HTML training series, and in this video we will be learning to add some style to your web pages. So let's just go ahead and uh, let me explain to you what changing style of your web page will be. Well basically, let's say you wanted to change the color of the web page. Well, that's a style. Or let's say you wanted to change the font size or color even. That would be changing the style around your font. How do we start doing that? Well, let's just go ahead and begin starting simple by uh, let's go ahead and change the color of our web page to a different color. So let's go ahead and go into our body tag. We're going to our body tag since this is where all the content is going to be and changing the background color of the body will change the background of the entire web page. So just follow along as I type right now and I'll explain it after I'm done typing. Uh, just go ahead and type. Put a space in the body tag and type in style equals double quotes. Now let's type in background hyphen color colon space red semicolon okay what we're doing here is that in the body at er, in the body tag we are changing the attribute style we learned more oh, we learned about attributes in video 6 i believe and what we're setting the attribute style to is that we're going into it and then we're changing the property of the style the background color property to red and what we're doing here is actually called uh, cat uh, we're using changing the style which in later videos will be learning more about style sheets and how we can use those to style our web pages but for now we're just using the style tag really quick because I'm just going to demonstrate to you what the uh, style tag can do and what styling dust styling can do to your web pages. So right now we're setting the background color of this document to red. And then after every statement in style, you have to end it with a semicolon. And I'll be going more over that later. And then when you're setting a property to a certain value, like we're setting background color to red, you have to put a semicolon after the property name. And then you put your value in right there, which we're naming the value red, which will make our document red. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just save that real quick. And let's go ahead and open this in Internet Explorer. And voila, the document is now red, or your web page is now red. Uh, we can also experiment a little bit more with this. Like, let's go ahead and change red to, change it to blue. I like the color blue. Now let's go ahead and launch that in Internet Explorer, and bingo, the web page is now blue, since we changed the background property of the style of the body to blue. You can also do other colors such as black. Let's go ahead and launch that. Now the web page is black. You can pretty much use any standard like color, like blue, red, yellow, orange, green, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and try green. We'll see what that looks like. Ooh, that's a nice screen. Okay, let's go ahead and close that out. And we can do more. Uh, let's go ahead and keep that background color to green. And let's go ahead and write some text right here. Let's go ahead and open a paragraph tag. Because we're going to change some font up real quick. And... That's right, this is... Some example, oh, not example E, some example text, and we're excited again. Okay, go ahead and save that. And right up here in the style, pro, uh, a style attribute, we're going to uh, we're gonna put, we're going to change another property of it, of the document. So go ahead and type this in, as I do, color, colon, space, red. What this is going to do is set all the color of the text in this document, we're setting it all to red. 
And just as I said, we're setting the property, so you have to put the at or the uh, semi not semicolon the colon after the property we're setting, and then this is the value, and the colon or the semicolon always goes after the value. I just got my colons and semicolons messed up there for a minute. So what should happen is, since we put all of this hit right in the body tag, we should have a green background and our text should be red. And are we right? Let's go ahead and see that. Go ahead and save your thing, your web page, and bingo, the text is now red. That's because we set all the text to be red in our style right here with inside the body. And you can let's go put some more text in like this is another line of example text. Doesn't matter if you spell it right, as long as you have the exclamation points at the end. Actually, those don't matter either. <laughs> let's go ahead and launch this, and voila. The other text is now red also. And you can also do some more experiments, like let's change it to change the text to white. Will that work? Of course it will. And bingo, text is now white. And make sure you always spell the words correctly. Let's say I put W-I-T-E for white. Um, it's not going to come up right. So make sure you always spell these words right. And another way you can change the color or the background color is to use a hexadecimal, which will be like this. What you do is when you're putting a hexadecimal in there, you'll be putting like the number sign in FFF for white. You can also do that and then FFF and it'll be white text in the document still. But we'll be going over some hexadecimal colors in a much later video as right now you can just get by with using like white, black, green, red, all the other colors. Just don't worry about hexadecimal right now, but if you want to get a very precise color, like let's say you want to get like an aqua looking color, but maybe a little more blue in it than usual, you can use hexadecimal, you can get that precise color that you want. But for right now, just using simple terms as white, red, yellow, is good enough for us. Since we don't get want to get into anything really fancy right now. And that is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you, didn't, uh, if you didn't understand it very much, just watch the video again, and you'll understand it, and just study the video a little bit. I know it's kind of hard to uh, maybe understand this right now with all the semicolons and colons and stuff right now, but I'm pretty sure you'll get the hang of it very, very soon. Uh, thank you all for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and register as a member on webvidtuts.com, and I will see you all next video. Goodbye.